NASA's Space Shuttle Discovery will shortly carry the last European-built module to the International Space Station. The Mini Pressurized Logistics Module, or MPLM, will be permanently attached to the ISS, providing additional storage and working space for the onboard crew. Known as Leonardo, the module is one of three MPLMs developed and built by the Italian Space Agency. It has flown to the space station seven times since 2001, traveling in the shuttle cargo bay and filled with up to eight tons of hardware, experiments and essential supplies. Another MPLM, known as Raffaello, has been sent to the ISS three times. With its own life support system and electrical supply, Leonardo's previous mission saw it attached to the station for up to two weeks at a time, expanding the station's habitable space. It was then undocked and carried back to Earth, filled with waste and finished experiments. The MPLM has now been modified at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in readiness for its new life as a permanent fixture of the ISS. Hardware has been removed to make it lighter, its interior has been made more functional, and extra shielding has been added to protect it from the rigors of space. Once in orbit, it will be attached to the Earth-facing port of the Unity module, the US part of the ISS, where it will remain as a permanent multi-purpose module for the rest of the station's working life in space. Yet, as the STS-133 mission heralds the transformation of Leonardo, it will also mark the retirement of the space shuttle Discovery. After 38 flights and 352 days in space, this will be the veteran spacecraft's last mission, shortly before the shuttle program itself comes to an end later this year. Discovery has flown more missions than any other spacecraft in history, and by the end of STS-133 will have carried 180 people into space. It has played a significant part in ESA's manned spaceflight program, carrying several of its astronauts to the International Space Station and was also the shuttle to carry Leonardo on its maiden voyage into orbit. It's hard to deny the significance of this final flight. But for the time being, it's business as usual for Discovery, as the crew of six NASA astronauts prepare for the upcoming flight. In addition to deploying the new module, they'll be carrying out maintenance tasks and attaching other hardware to the ISS. When their work is done, astronauts will have a greater capacity than ever to live and work in orbit, improving the station's potential for its international partners in the coming years.